Hey friends, this week there is no new chapter of the Baki manga. However, I made this video to discuss some theories about Jack Hammer's future in this new arc, where it seems that he will be one of the most important characters. In the most recent chapter of the manga, we got a glimpse into Jack Hammer's past. In that chapter, we saw that Jack began his intense training from a young age, which means he knew what Yujiro had done to his mother by that time. We also saw that Jack was a child with strong faith in God, always visiting the church in his town from an early age. In his words, he wanted to protect the image of the crucified Christ inside the church and didn't mind staying overnight. He possibly did this fearing thieves might break into the church to steal valuable items. This was quite interesting because, although we knew Jack believed in God, it wasn't until now that we got a clearer understanding of it. During his fight with Pickle, Jack prayed to God to let him win. That was a long time ago, and since then, many of us thought Jack's faith wasn't that deep. However, with this chapter, we can say Jack is a devout believer in God. Some liked the addition of Christian faith to the character, and others didn't. However, we have to remember this is fiction, and like in any fictional work, these kinds of details add depth to the characters. So, setting aside the differences between believers and non-believers, let's discuss some theories that fans of the series have shared after the latest manga chapter. In a joking manner, some fans have said that Jack might awaken the angel back and thus become stronger. Well, this was clearly a joke among the fans. But what if Jack awakens a power different from the demon back? Looking at it this way, it doesn't seem so far-fetched to think that Jack might get a power due to his Hanma blood. Considering that the Hanma family's power is concentrated in the back, it wouldn't be far-fetched for Jack to manifest a different type of back than Yujiro. By this, I mean the shape the back muscles take. We all know that on the backs of Baki and Yujiro, a demon face appears when they unleash their full power. Somehow, both their backs take on this peculiar shape that looks like a demon face. It would be interesting to have a different figure formed on Jack's back to contrast with the demon that characterizes the Hanma family. Considering Jack's Christian faith, we could call this power the Angel Back. With this, Jack would show that he doesn't want to associate with his father in any way, and that he'll defeat him using his own methods and strength. Plus, it'd be interesting to see the expression on Yujiro's face when he sees Jack's back. Escaping the Hanma bloodline is tough, especially when it's running through your own veins. However, if Jack awakens a power different from the demon back, it would prove to Yujiro that even someone with impure blood can challenge him and perhaps beat him. The name Angel Back would just be a way to refer to this possible new power of Jack. But anyway, all of this is pure speculation. It's more likely that Jack will never awaken the demon back, which actually isn't such a bad thing. I think Itagaki wants to show us that Jack has never needed the demon back to face Yujiro, which is why we haven't seen him have this kind of power-up at this point in the series. The fact is that Jack has greatly improved his physical skills and has even created his own martial art, which consists of biting. In recent chapters, a lot of emphasis has been placed on Jack's bite. But apart from that, it has also physically become stronger. Let's not forget that he has also become faster as we saw in his fight against the swordsman Sabu. In that fight, Jack managed to dodge the swordsman's cut without much effort. It is important to note that this swordsman was not just any opponent. Now that Masashi is no longer alive, he is currently the strongest swordsman. Jack's speed is astonishing especially considering his massive size and weight. It is likely that after witnessing Pickle's incredible agility, Jack also focused his training on improving his reaction time and speed of movement. In that fight, the caveman surpassed him in both strength and speed. Jack was perplexed by not being able to see Pickle's movements, who moved at an extraordinary speed for his weight and size. With this in mind, I believe Jack will surprise everyone with his newfound speed. While this bite is something to watch out for, his opponents, should not let their guard down and assume he's just a big and heavy guy. Seeing him in person, they might think he's a slow opponent, and that would give them an advantage. The truth is that if someone underestimates Jack like that, they are definitely going to run into a big problem. Nomi made that mistake, and Jack stunned him with his incredible speed, knocking him to the ground on several occasions. Another point worth mentioning is that Jack is always trained alone. Just like Yujiro, Jack has chosen to train on his own, away from others. We often see him working out his jaw and the other muscles in his body. On some occasions, we've spotted him training in remote snow-covered areas and in lush green forests. I thought that Dr. Korahak could have been a good training partner for him since they seem to have a decent relationship. Not exactly best friends, but they appear to get along well. Baki, on the other hand, 
trains on his own, but occasionally works out with friends. Even Yujiro once tested his speed against a god who was really skilled with a bow and arrow. In fact, I mentioned a while ago that it would have been cool if Jack learned to use the imagination technique to manifest fake opponents like Baki does. As odd as that technique might seem, it's really effective. Jack knows Baki perfectly, so training with an imaginary version of him would be really beneficial. And speaking of training, I remember also suggesting that it would have been a good idea for Yuchiro Hanma to still be alive and be the one to guide Jack in his training. This is one of the most impossible theories, since everything points to the fact that Yuchiro passed away a long time ago and the chances of his reappearance are slim. However, until Ithagaki or Yujiro confirm this, we can continue to entertain the idea that Yuchiro might still be alive. Baki has always been surrounded by people who care about him, excluding Yujiro and of course his mother. However, Jack's situation is different, since he had to grow up without either of his parents. He could have turned into a life of crime and ended up in jail, but thanks to his faith in God, he's come as far as he has. I think some company wouldn't hurt the solitary Jack. And well, to end the video, I'd like to comment on another theory I've seen floating around in recent months. This theory suggests the possibility that Jack might die in this part of the series. Yes, it may be one of the saddest theories in the Baki series, but the chances of this happening are quite high. Jack has mentioned that he doesn't expect to live a long life. His sole purpose is to defeat Yujiro, no matter the sacrifices. The speculation is that all the attention given to Jack in this arc is because Ithagaki plans to conclude his story, just as he did with Retsu. If this turns out to be true, we can at least expect Jack to put up a good fight against Yujiro. But even if he doesn't defeat him, I hope he earns his respect as a worthy adversary. Yujiro wasn't really bothered by Jack using chemicals to become stronger, as long as it made him a better fighter, and then goes. I think if Ithagaki builds this event properly, many of us wouldn't mind saying goodbye to Jack. It would be sad, but if he leaves fulfilling his dream, many of us would be fine with that. Anyway, before something like that happens, I hope to see several more fights with Jack. One of the fights I'm most looking forward to is Jack vs. Dopo. Some may not be excited about this fight, but I'm very interested to see Jack take on a fighter as skilled and experienced as Dopo. Another anticipated fight is Jack vs. Oleva Biscuit. Mr. Unchained also made his comeback by defeating Nomi, and in that match, we saw he's in top physical condition. Honestly, there are so many fights we haven't seen in this series, and it'd be awesome if Ithagaki really goes all out in this new arc. For those wondering, the new manga will be published weekly, but Ithagaki might still take some breaks. Those of us who've been fans for a long time are used to these frequent pauses, so it's pretty much business as usual. The next chapter of the manga will be out next week, and it's likely going to be an episode where we see Kosho gearing up for his fight against Jack. This new manga arc has just begun, but with only two chapters in, it's shaping up to be one of the best parts of the entire series. We may see the return of old characters to test their strength against the biting cyborg, who will not stop until he avenges his mother. For now, we can only hope that this arc is better than the sumo arc, which honestly wouldn't be too difficult. While we wait for the next chapter, tell me which characters you would like to see return to the series, and also tell me which fights you would like to see before Jack faces Yujiro. So far, we know that Kosha will be Jack's first opponent in this new arc. Regarding this fight, all we can hope for is that Kosha presents a real challenge to Jack, and that the battle doesn't end in just a few seconds. Either way, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the possibility of Ithagaki ending the Baki series with a face-off between Baki and Jack. These two brothers still owe us a rematch, and it would be amazing to see them fight one last time. For now, that's all, but I'll see you in a future video. Take care, and remember to exercise. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.